Amazing Science Facts. The sun is slowly getting increasingly harder and brighter with time. It is currently 30% brighter than it was 4.5 billion years ago. But the rate of change is so small we don't even notice it. Eventually however, the sun will become so hot that it will cause the earth to become inhospitable to life. In just over 2.5 billion years, the temperatures on earth will be high enough to evaporate all of our oceans. Earth will then become a vast desert just like Mars today. The increasing temperatures will also cause oxygen levels in our atmosphere to fall, creating a crisis for any forms of future life. As the sun continues to expand into a red giant in the following few billion years, scientists predict that the sun will finally engulf Earth altogether, leading to the end of our planet. The human body produces heat energy throughout any form of exercise, including swimming because heat is produced as a byproduct of the metabolic activity of contracting muscles. Some of this energy is stored and causes an increase in core body temperature, which is noticed by thermoreceptors around the body. Normal core body temperature ranges between 96.8 to 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit which may increase up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit during exercise. Once temperatures of around 103.1 degrees Fahrenheit are reached, we typically begin to experience fatigue. So because sweating is the body's main way of regulating our temperature, we sweat anytime our core body temperature reaches a critical threshold whether we're on dry land or surrounded by a body of water. However, it's barely noticeable when we are swimming because the water washes the sweat off. Fleas may have been directly responsible for wiping out a significant percentage of Europe's population during the Middle Ages, but you can't help but admire the tiny insect's design. That's because when fleas jump, they can accelerate faster than a space shuttle. In fact, they can do so 20 times faster. They are able to do this because fleas have super stretchy proteins in their legs that allow them to jump really high as high as 38 times its own body length. This equals to the height of about 8 centimeters in a millisecond. Due to their size and the force used to jump such great distances, their acceleration is so intense that the little critter is subjected to a force of about 100 g, meaning that they accelerate at approximately 100 times the force of gravity. Astronauts on a space shuttle experience about 3G and humans pass out at about 5G. A thermal camera works by detecting the heat lost by a subject as infrared. A polar bear's fur however has excellent thermal insulating properties. Their hair has a hollow core which effectively prevents the infrared emission or heat signature of the polar bear from escaping their fur. This along with a thick layer of fat under their skin helps the bears retain their heat and stay warm during the coldest weather. Because of this efficient reflection of heat, the fur also maintains the same temperature as the air around it. 
This makes polar bears relatively invisible under an infrared camera. There are certain metals including potassium, sodium, lithium, rubidium, and cesium that are so reactive that they oxidize instantly when exposed to air. They all react aggressively or even explosively when they come into contact with water. This is because all elements strive to be chemically stable. In other words, to have a full outer electron shell. To achieve this, metals tend to shed electrons. The alkali metals have only one electron on their outer shell, making them ultra keen to pass on this unwanted passenger to another element via bonding. As a result, they form compounds with other elements so readily that they don't exist independently in nature. Chalks are formed from skeletal remains of minute planktonic green algae that lived floating in the upper levels of the ocean. These tiny single-celled algae called coccolithophores have lived in Earth's oceans for hundreds of millions of years. Unlike any other marine plants, they surround themselves with extremely small plates of calcite called coccoliths. Just under 100 million years ago, Conditions were just right for coccolithophores to accumulate in a thick layer and began coating our ocean floors in a white deposit. As further sediments built up on top, the pressure compressed the coccoliths to form rocks. Then millions of years later, as the seabed were raised above sea level, they became chalk cliffs such as the white cliffs of Dover. Our solar system started off as a swirling cloud of dust and gas which eventually collapsed into a spinning disk with the sun at its center. Because of this common origin, all the planets move around the sun in the same direction and on roughly the same plane. They also all spin in the same direction which is counterclockwise if observed from above except for Uranus and Venus. While Uranus spins on its side, Venus defiantly spins in the complete opposite direction. The most likely cause of these planetary oddballs are gigantic asteroids which knocked them off course in the distant past. Tomatoes contain about 35,000 genes while the human genome only has about 20,000 genes. The reason tomatoes have more genes than humans is because tomatoes have at least two genome triplications. These triplications or copies result in additional copies of an organism's genome. When these additional copies of chromosomes happen, the number of genes in an organism increases. Several other species of animals and plants also have more genes than humans do because the number of genes is thought to be largely unrelated to the complexity of the organism. Mice, for example, have approximately 10,000 more genes than us as they also have many duplications in their genes like tomatoes. Taking up a total of 155 million square kilometers, the Pacific Ocean surrounds Asia, Australia, and the Americas. 
it is the largest body of water on earth having twice as much water as the Atlantic Ocean. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and see you on the next one.